Por él. First, to match the coefficients of the first and second equation, let's multiply the first equation by 2. And when you multiply 3x minus 2y equals 4 by 2, you get 6x minus 4y equals 8. Now I'll compare that with our second equation, which is 6x minus 4y equals 9. So we have two equations, or that says 6x minus 4y is 8, and another one that says 6x minus 4y equals 9. So it's saying the same number is equal to 8, and 9, but 8 is definitely not equal to 9, so we have no solution since these two equations can't be true at the same time. Part B. Again, let's try to match our coefficients. And we can do that by multiplying the first equation by 2. And when you do that, you get 4x minus 8y equals 2. Now notice this is the same as the second equation, so we only have one equation. So that means we have an infinite number of solutions. Okay, now let's try to parameterize this. So we can do that by solving for x, or solving for the first variable. So to do that, let's isolate x first by adding 8y to both sides. Then divide by 4. Let's just make it x. That gets us. 2y plus 1 half. Now that means the parameterization of our solution is going to be 2y plus 1 half since x is 2y plus 1 half and y is just y. That gets us part B.